Interviu eveniment în această seară la Digi24. Piero Ferrari, miliardarul italian de 78 de ani, moștenitorul Imperiului Ferrari și soția lui, Romina Gingașu, i-au acordat un interviu în exclusivitate colegei mele, Teodora Tompea. Îl urmărim. Bine v-am găsit la o ediție specială, un interviu special și în premier aici la Digi24 și vă prezint invitații mei. Romina și Piero Ferrari. Romina e Piero Ferrari. Benvenuti su DJ24. Grazie mille per accettare questa intervista. Mi sento onorato. Yeah. And I hope it's, it's a good Italian. I will switch to English. <laughs> Grazie. Grazie per Grazie. Uh, Did you come here at our television with Dacia or Ferrari? Because Romina said that you prefer to, to drive also Dacia in Romania. Yes, we Dacia is okay. It's, you know, in Italy we have many and this is a successful brand. So I'm happy. <laughs> I like to have a Dacia. <laughs> also, Romina, you said me before that is the first interview together yes. as a family. It's your Our first, first interview, interview as a couple. Yeah. Mm. And I think that you you are nervous. You have actually not. <laughs> we are uh, always Emotion. okay together. No, I'm feeling very relaxed. Okay. I'm so. happy to be here. Thank you for the invitation. Thank you so much. There was saying that in Italy the most important fi figure is Pope, and after that it's Ferrari. Things are the same now. Maybe yes. I can tell you maybe one number that we have a museum, and uh, in our museum we have over 700,000 visitors per day, almost like the Vatican Museum. So this <laughs> the Pope is very famous, Vatican, but Ferrari is um, a different world, but is attracting a lot of people and uh, a lot of passion. I think that all over the world, uh, the name Ferrari is known. It doesn't matter where you go. How it is to, to, to have this name and to be Ferrari? Because Ferrari has been following always a passion, an idea, and uh, succeeded. Because my father had a passion in his life, was racing, motor racing, and make something new every time. Every moment, every time was needed. So, looking at the future and what Ferrari did, even after him and doing now, is look at the future. Romina, how is to be part of the family, Ferrari family? Uh, first of all, as Piero say, look at the future. Uh, look at the future means looking for the next 10 years. <laughs> anyway, we are a big plan, planning uh, planners. And we are planning, uh, for example, our calendar at this moment. It's already full until April or May. Yeah. <laughs> A business calendar yeah. and also for uh, yeah. traveling and yes. hobbies. Yes, business. And uh, it's amazing. I mean, I'm, I'm all the time active. I'm all the time uh, under movement, under uh, my brain is working, <laughs> and I'm learning a lot. And thanks to Piero, of course, because he... He's helping me day by day, and we are a good couple. We're partners. How is it for you to have a Romanian wife? She is very beautiful. She is very talented. She is so smart. And for you, how she is, is giving me a lot of energy because <laughs> Romina has a lot of energy, and uh, she proved that in his life she did a choice and a change of, of life, and with a lot of energy, she was taking risk. Of course, <laughs> we have. Uh, age difference, but this doesn't matter. We understand each other. She is an engineer, and maybe for this we understand better each other. I like to hear this story because Romina uh, <coughs> tells us before here at DJ24, how was the moment when you two <laughs> have met? Please tell you how do you, uh, do you met Romina, and how was for you at that time? So for... I met Romina because I was going to, to see the Formula One race in Monza. And from Linate to Monza is a helicopter sh uh, shuttle to go into a, a racing track. And Romina was there and she, was, she had a hat, a red hat with Bombardier because she was there for uh, meeting Bombardier clients. Do you still have Private. that hat, Romina? Of course. Yeah. Yeah. I was there waiting for a helicopter, and some people were coming next to me. Oh, Mr. Ferrari, can we have a picture with you? And so Romina said, oh, maybe this is a famous person. And she went to me. She gave, she, my plane. She gave, <laughs> she gave me the, his business card. And, that, and after she started to send me emails, I wish changed the business card. And she sending me emails to sell me an airplane. But I, 
I was a little bit <laughs> not answering <laughs> immediately. And after we, we met in Monte Carlo, where she was living, and from Monte Carlo. And the first coffee or the first dinner, I don't know. Monte Carlo. Well, after, yeah, after he invited me for dinner because he was already refusing my... Uh, but why no, I, really, I was refusing to buy the airplane, <laughs> not her. <laughs> and he made a trade in there. <laughs> a good one. <laughs> And it, it was the, this dinner and uh, the meeting was after six months. Yes. 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 Hmm? A lot of time. A lot. Yeah. yeah. It was hard to catch. I didn't want to buy the airplane. No, I, I wanted Simple. to sell you the airplane. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, has there ever been a time when you are not believed that you are Ferrari because you are a very discreet person? And I think that a few people know your story so close. Yeah, because... You know, I'm not using social media. I'm not. I don't like to appear with um, in a, you know event or to be in the first line to push the other people be, to be, be first on the picture. No, I'm simple person. And it I happened like, to, yeah. to, be, to not be believed before that you are Ferrari. That your yeah. name is. Oh, so yes. some people there. Yeah. And, and like in more restaurants, and more. when we some do reservations yes. and I say uh, Ferrari, they start to laugh. And I say, yeah, like the car, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they are, they are not believing that you are uh, yeah. Ferrari. Yeah. Yeah, after we understand. <laughs> and they search on Google and they, they find your Google. picture and after that you are believed <laughs> to yeah. be. Yeah. Also, the latest film, Ferrari, tells the story of your father and your family. How it is to, to see your life in a movie? Yeah, this is a good question. This is something that took many years to, to make this movie because uh, the director, Michael Mann, is my friend also. And he came uh, in 1995 to me with Sidney Pollack, other Hollywood director. They came to me and told me, Piero, we want to make a movie about your father. And I was a little bit skeptical and I was saying, okay, Show me the screenplay and I will tell you my opinion. I don't tell you yes, uh, do it. But the time was passing because the screenplay was not ready, the budget not, and so, and uh, finally the, the movie was done now, 25 years later. And the movie was a bit emotional for me because it's the first time a movie is telling the story of my family, of me, my mother, that my father had two families, and those times not time easy to, to talk was, about this. Not, talk, not easy to talk about, and to explain that in the 50s it was illegal to have two families. There was no divorce. To have a kid outside the marriage was illegal, so it was not an easy story. For me, my family was a normal family because my father was uh, every day uh, to me and we were uh, having lunch together every day. It was really, really nice. But this, I'm grown like this. And to see myself when I was 12 okay, is an emotion, yes. You were emotional when yes. you saw the movie for the first time? First time, yes. We have also a picture for you, uh, you and your father in this picture, and so Ferrari and you also yeah. next to him. In what year was this picture taken? This is beginning of the 80s for sure. Yeah. This and it is was a, a meeting. It was. A, a, it, this could be 82, 83. It was a was a meeting uh, uh, for sure with the journalist. Before the, uh, the public um, journalist meeting, yeah. And I tell you before the interview, um, you look a lot like your father. Yeah, but <laughs> I'm happy to look like my father. And, but when I was a kid, I was looking like my mother. So I'm happy to, uh, to that the people feel that I'm of that family. <laughs> But do you, uh, so, or you are like your father more than physical aspect? Do you, are, do you have your uh, father's character? No, character I'm very different from, from my father. My father was always very active person, was the person that uh, could be rude and could be sweet at the same time. Was a, a very complex character. It was a person that was... Uh, was depending by who was 
in front of him. There was a woman, a man, a businessman, <laughs> or a, a politician, and there was, and he was different. He was um, appearing a different person, and uh, so it, this so was very, uh, was very sophisticated how he was interacting with the people. And you are very different. M me, I'm more not easy, more simple. Mm, not many words and, and to be, you know, to be in touch with the people um, in an easy way. Romina, what was your first impression when you met Piero Ferrari? The same. He, he made me feel his warmth and uh, simplicity. Yes. And I loved, uh, I loved that about him, considering that at that point I was in touch with many clients. Uh, to sell them airplanes and important um, people. Mm -hmm. His answers were different and kind, and this made me feel all the time like I have to see him again. I wished inside me to see him again, and the destiny brought us together. Very nice. <laughs> Let's return to uh, the movie that a very important and hard year for your family. Fifty-seven. Uh, mm -hmm. What memories do you have from that year, that specific year? You were 10 or? 12. 12, 12 years yeah. old. Yes, I remember uh, those here, and especially the Mille Miglia, the accident of Mille Miglia, because uh, I was writing even uh, a theme in, in the school uh, about the Portago, the driver who you was killed. You were a fan of the Portago. I was a fan of it. I was following very much the, the racing driver because you know, that time was not TV, some TV, but uh, was not live, uh, and so I was following and was always asking to my father. And uh, I was writing even at the school that my father was, uh, was concerned about the Portago because he was doing a bob racing at the Olympic Games in Cortina. The bob, you know, the ice. Uh, yes. <laughs> so, I say, ah, oh, he will be, he's taking risk, uh, useless risk, and uh, he has to drive the Mille Miglia. And then the, the Mille Miglia was a very big tragedy. So I have some me personal memories of uh, those years, like this one. And my father, after the tragedy, when he came to, to my mother and to me, was saying, ah, oh, we cannot continue like this. This uh, is not possible, it's not acceptable. But the day after, I was going back to the office and in front of uh, the mechanics, the engineer, who was saying, and now, so now what we do? We have to move forward. We have to make safer car. We have to improve uh, uh, our technique, our, our cars, and not to happen these accidents. So this was his uh, emotional rea reaction. How was your relationship with, with your parents? You were close to your father or you were closer to your mother? Mm, with my mother we were living together, you know, day and since night ever. Um, since, since ever. With my father, uh, with my father, you know, he was never having vacation, but every weekend we were together in a different restaurant, it's a new place, in summertime we were going to a fish restaurant in Rimini. Uh, yeah, as a kid, as a young boy, it was, was nice. <laughs> we, were, we were going with the Ferrari, and this was really something special. At that time, there were very few Ferraris. This uh, is still in the 80s, yeah. In the 80s also, yeah. and this, this is one? the 70s with Niki Lauda and me, my father. This is my father in his office in Modena with the pictures of the drivers. That, yes. that was 58. Yeah. That, that, that one was 58, one 58, year after the yeah. tragedy, and here with Nikki And Lauda. here, 74. Yes, and Nikki Romina Lauda. told me that when you met Piero Ferrari, in fact, you were going to sell uh, an airplane to Nikki uh, Lauda. Nikki Lauda, Lauda was, was already client. our client, and yeah. he bought a Global 6000, and he was making the Global Tour with his plane. So I was sent mm. to, to the Grand Prix of Monza to meet Niki Lauda. And one day before meeting Piero, I met uh, Mr. Lauda and I had like 15 minutes talk with him. I saw his plane, I visited his plane. He had a woman as a captain, uh, it was amazing.
Yeah. Amazing experience. Okay. History is. <laughs> yeah, it's still. the road is the destiny. Roads of the, the destiny. Roads are very yeah. of the destiny. Yeah. <laughs> also, uh, did you ever feel that you were living in your father's shadow? Yes, when <laughs> it was life. Maybe okay. in the early years. Yeah, yeah it was. When you were younger. Ah, uh, okay. He was a really strong personality, and so That's why I, mean. I was uh, following him. To him, the, the answer was always yes. You, you couldn't say no. You couldn't say <laughs> no. Him, no. And so Ferrari couldn't no. say no. <laughs> no. So I was following him, but I was learning. I was, he was, uh, in a way, teaching me. So I was always following him, uh, uh, wishes, his directions. What was your first job? My first job was uh, 1965 in, um, in Maranello, because uh, no, November, because October died my grandmother, mother of, of my father, and sh she wrote to my father that she wants Piero to work in Maranello, uh, to work with you in Maranello, so to my father. And my father, the following month, took me to Maranello. And my first job was, uh, uh, the first day, he took, he took me in a big meeting room and told me, you see that uh, archive is full of uh, broken parts, broken pieces of um, racing cars. Make a, a record of uh, yeah. all the broken parts because you have always to remember the mistake we did. All these bro broken parts are races that we lost. And so this was make and you put all the pieces together yeah. and yeah. life so lesson. I, I made a, the life lesson. Uh, yeah. It's and this was uh, my father's attitude. Uh, the past. And he was it, always like this. Yeah. With you. Yeah. And he was telling always me, the past is done. It's written. It's, you have to remember the past only the mistake you did. But I think it was the future helpful. is now. You ch you can change your you can change your future. The present is just one. One tenth of a second. <laughs> and you believe this? Yeah, I believe it. It was a life lesson, and yeah. I think it was very helpful yeah. for you to, to be yeah. to be this way, so, or this relationship with your with your father. And uh, what was the salary that you received at that moment for the this salary. job? Yeah, for well, this job uh, beginning was uh, 80 mila lire, 80,000 lire. <laughs> this and yes, now is like uh, in Italy. Uh, yeah. Like a normal worker, ah, but the sal my salary when my father was alive was always the lower of my category, <laughs> of my level of responsibility. It was also a lesson. No, it was a lesson to me and to show to to the other employees that I had no special treatment, no special <laughs> salary. And do you remember uh, how you spent the money, the salary, the first salary? No, I you bought uh, something special, or you did something special with? That? No, I didn't do something special because uh, was uh, was a pro I, I kept my first salary and was in a in a drawer in, the, in my room, and then we left the window open, and we were out for dinner with my mother, and the thief came and took my salary. That's something new even for me. It's the first time I'm hearing the story. Yeah. So your first salary. Wow. Yeah, it was, was, was stolen by. Yes, was stolen by, <laughs> by okay. the thief. He's always full of surprises. Always. Yeah. You are a romantic person. I know it's an intimate question, but now that I, that I said that you are full of surprises. Maybe I'm a romantic. I'm, I'm trying not to be. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to be realistic. And not Pragmatic, romantic, yes. but I, maybe I, I am inside of me, yes. He is. Important is to be very kind, and he is very kind. Yeah. And the respect in our house, yeah. uh, the respect is the first thing. Yeah. Your father uh, spent a lot of time in the factory and with uh, all the employees. Do you have time now to, to be like this, or do you have time to, to stay with your employees? Do you know their names? Do you know their stories, their families? I know, okay, the top management, because now Ferrari is a big company, more than 5,000 employees, so uh, I know very well the top management, and with them, with some of them, we have even lunch, uh, friendly lunch together. With, uh, with the others, I, I walk very often in, in the factory, 
And even the young one, they come to me and say, oh, hello, Mr. Ferrari, happy that you are coming to see what we do. And so generally, you know, the employees of Ferrari, they are proud to be Ferrari employees. Of course. Most of them, they go out with a working suit and they keep it. They go to the shops with a working suit to, to show that they are part of Ferrari. So. Yes, but uniform. Yes, the, the uniform. uniform. Yes, it's an honor to, to have the uniform yeah. and to wear it yeah. all over the, the yeah. world. This. Do you have friends in the company or do you trust people in the company? Because I know it's, it's a very difficult uh, thing to achieve. Yeah, when this is something that you have to separate with his personal relation and responsibility in the company. So in the company, I'm in the board. In the company, I'm uh, in the in couple of committees, for, especially for new cars and new products for future development. So uh, this I don't. Uh, there are people who have a responsibility. Uh, some are friends. The CEO is my friend. Uh, uh, John Lecan, the, uh, the chairman, is my friend. So we have a friendly relation, but business is business. Friendship is parallel. Because Enzo Ferrari was saying that. Yeah, yeah. Never make business with a friend. No. Exactly. N yes, exactly. Yeah, because it's not going yeah. to be a lesson learned. <laughs> a good lesson. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> In the same time, you say about something uh, about, about the future. Uh, the plans for Ferrari is to be uh, an electric car? I don't know, maybe in the future. I, I know that you cannot answer. No. Uh, 100%. No, I can answer because you know, is uh, even. Uh, uh, in the capital market day was announced that Ferrari is investing in the electric car. Maybe in the end, end of next year will be revealed uh, the electric car. Because this we is the future. Will be the future, but we don't know how will be the future of the uh, international regulation. Uh, if uh, it will be only electric or, or electric and synthetic fuel, uh, so we want to keep open all the options. Now 45% of the Ferraris are hybrid. So we have combustion hybrid and electric is coming. So for the future we can decide which is the best technology to follow. So this is our attitude. We want, we want to be flexible for the, for the future. Because this is the trend. Yeah, and we will see. <laughs> are you passionate about racing? I'm passionate, yes. Also, you, you participate at the no, um, race. Yes, I, I asked you before the interview if you have time to go when a race is. Uh, some some time I go. I I like to look myself uh, what what they are doing the engineers. I look to I like to to look at the car. I I love the technology of the Formula One. Um, I'm trying to be all updated. I mean, um, but you know now Formula One is very complicated. If you think that now in, in Formula One team has 1,300 employees, so it's a big organization. It's like a, a, a company in the company. So you cannot do follow everything. <laughs> What's your favorite uh, uh, Ferrari model? What's my favorite? favorite car from Ferrari, yes. The next one, <laughs> like my Good father answer. was. <laughs> You, you will see uh, that will come. I can't wait yeah. to see. Uh, we have another picture prepared for you about, we, we, we are talking now about the cars, and I know that a lot of people love your cars, and now we will see the Pope, mm. not Pope Francis, yeah. and also a picture, I think, yes, my colleague showed the, us uh, Schumacher, and yeah. the Pope, it's in what year? Did so this uh, was 2004 because this was a, a gift we did we gave to the Pope because we made an auction for uh, for charity for the Vatican to help the uh, the victim of a tsunami. Mm -hmm. it was 2004, and but before the, pay, the Pope in uh, one, uh, 88, well, 1988, he came to Maranello. Yes, we have to, also a picture and, uh, from that moment. To, we will show, yeah. show and he did a mess in the, um, in the Fiorano test track and was really unique event. 
really. And you <coughs> were in the car with the Pope. We have I was the driver, you were driving. Of a, the driver of a Pope. I was. Yes, <laughs> we, we were talking about the picture. But it was not organized. Well, it was the Pope asking why here we don't, because he had the Papa Mobile, the white car of a Pope. And they were asking, oh, why we don't have a Ferrari? And so we found very quickly a Ferrari, Spider, and I was driving the car with the Pope next to me. This How was your relationship with uh, Schumacher? Well, Schumacher, you know, was the very first top, top professional driver. He was taking care of his uh, health and his uh, body. He was training every day. And he came he, to Ferrari in a difficult And he was coming time. very often. And, but with him, I had a very nice understanding. He was, I was inviting for dinner at home when he was free. He was coming and was really a nice guy. Was looking uh, uh, like a person taking the tifosi and the yes. friend out, but not. Privately, very nice and intelligent person. And he never liked the simulator. He never no, liked the simulator. It was the beginning of the simulator, and, but he wanted to feel the car. Not, but now it's not possible because you, know, you cannot do private testing. That time he was driving like, not every day, but every week, yes. <laughs> and uh, what do you think about the Pope? How was the Pope? What was the first uh, impression? The Pope when was you... a person with uh, such a powerful charisma. So in front of him, you feel a little, little person. Um, you felt more in front yeah, of the Pope. <laughs> mm, yes, because uh, the Pope uh, was, has something strong coming inside of him, you know. And this was very, very special, very special person. Yeah, the person that uh, you have no words. Uh, you kiss the, the, the hands head. of the of the Pope, but you don't know what to say to the Pope. It uh, was an emotion. Three years ago, Piero took me for a private tour of the Vatican, mm -hmm. and uh, they took me in an elevator. It was a private um, private part of the Vatican, and they told me push this button because also Jacqueline Kennedy pushed it when she wow. came to visit the Pope. <laughs> and then in this private tour, I saw the preparation room where the women were preparing in order to enter to the Pope, like the first ladies. Yeah. And it was uh, such a blessing, and I received a very nice uh, gift from Vatican that I, are, it's only for the first ladies, and I felt really blessed. You are blessed. the first lady. <laughs> I felt blessed <laughs> after that. You so, know, it's, you. it's represented something that is difficult to explain. It's, it's, some, it's an history, uh, not of the country, of the as entire you are, world. As I said uh, in the beginning, as Ferrari is also, because Pope ah. and Ferrari, <laughs> two yeah. icons of Italy. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and in the same time, do you, do you, have you met Pope Francis? No, Francis, Pope Francis, no. No, when we were in the private visit, he was just in the garden with 30 minutes before. Uh, so then we, you we, him. we went nah, in we his garden, him. but at 5 o'clock he's doing a work every day. And we've been there at 5.30, so it was after him. <laughs> Maybe in the future, yeah. <laughs> he will ask for a Ferrari. Ah, <laughs> yeah. oh, he wants only the, the small car. He, you saw him when he went uh, to United States. He had a, a Fiat 500. He didn't want the big limousine. As I have the Dacia, so we yeah. keep with, the, uh, with our the, brand, uh, the tradition, yeah. the national car. <laughs> yeah. Your, also, your wealth is estimated at uh, almost seven billion. However, how much money have you ever felt in your hand? How much money do you? have to spend? Well, this is a good question. Well, I'm <laughs> behaving like I don't have because, <laughs> you know, the, the, this value is uh, the 10 percent of, of Ferrari. The 10 percent was, was given to me from my father in 1969. In 1969, my father sold 50 percent to Fiat, uh, 40 percent stayed on his name, and 10 he gave to me. And uh, he, was, he told me, Piero, don't never sell this 10 percent because this percent will, the value of this 10 percent will be more of the 50 percent that we sold now. Mm -hmm. And it was true. It was, yeah. This is what happened. But it's something that is there, we will stay now within a trust and we stay there for my family, for my daughter and my grandson. So for me, it's like I don't, I don't have it. It's a paper. <laughs> Is a paper. It's a, yeah, paper. It's a piece of paper. <laughs> it's nice to know. It's nice to know that you have those, nice to know that those money, but yeah. you don't spend a lot of money. 
No, I'm normal. No, yes, everything we need for a normal life. Yes, exactly. We never uh, yeah, no. show off. We never no. spend uh, just to to be in the high society level and all of that. But what is the most expensive thing that you buy uh, or you bought until now? Uh, most yacht. Expensive one. <laughs> yacht. <laughs> we are normal. We are With normal yet. <laughs> a yacht because this is also a passion, the, my passion. Because I have been lucky to have experience in uh, private aviation because I was chairman of Piaggio Aero. And, uh, and also on, on yachting that I love uh, very much because I'm uh, in, in the board and vi vice chairman of uh, Ferretti Group, uh, including Riva Brands, Pershing, Wally, all these yacht brands. So the um, most expensive toy, I mean, is the yacht. But we are selling now, probably. We don't know. We sell it? Mm. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Something new, baby. Something new. Yeah, and Looking to the future. On the yacht. You don't have privacy. Something <laughs> smaller. <laughs> what are your hobbies besides cars? Because uh, besides yacht, <laughs> what are your hobbies? What do you like to do? If you have free time, because I, I one I hour or of two hour three, uh, listen music. And music. What kind Hi -fi of music? Hi-fi music. Uh, Rock of the 70s. <laughs> really? Yeah. Rock. You're a rock person. And you, yeah. Amina? And when he's not answering to my calls, I know for sure that he's with the moto, moto bicycle. Ah, the motorbike. Yeah, the motorbike, yes, because my father didn't want, but I love motorbike. And now you still, now you yeah, still, still ride a motorbike. I go for a short tour, but I go he has nice myself. Ones. Yeah. <laughs> and your hobbies, Romina? Um, me? I don't know. What do you like to do? To be honest with you, I'm still playing PlayStation hours. <laughs> okay, I, I like to play Nintendo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's no, 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 <laughs> but our, uh, our strategy games, I like it. And Piero sees me playing like five, six hours, depends when I have time. But this is only in the weekend. Do you play with her? No. You never, just watch. Never. <laughs> never play the PlayStation, never. No, it's disconnecting me. But no. we do. We go out for a pizza, we do yeah, normal yeah. life activities, we don't yeah. have... Uh, you like to travel, you like to go on holidays? Yeah, I go to... I, I like. We did now a new we year. Flying. Yeah, we are we fly, but I like to go home. I'm happy when yeah. I go home. Yeah. You said you like pizza, it's your favorite food, you, you like to go out with pizza? You should come to Maranello because we have uh, really special dishes. <laughs> uh, Different from, from other parts of the Exactly, Italy. yes, like yeah. Tortellini ah, yeah. and uh, it's, it's a good food area in Modena and Maranello yeah. where also Massimo Bottura has the three-star uh, Michelin restaurant mm -hmm. and it's our friend and then in front yeah. of Ferrari we have a restaurant, it's called Cavallino and it's off Ferrari where Enzo Ferrari was was eating with the drivers, yeah. you, you could see yeah. in the, the movie. The restaurant uh, who appears the in, the, in the movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And now it's in the management of Massimo Bottura. So we are... And you go there, you go yeah, at yeah. the restaurant. A lot, yeah. yeah. yeah a lot. A lot. Yeah. And the factory, it's in the same place. The factory yes, yes. In see this in restaurant is in front, uh, across the street. And it yeah. was kept as... Uh, it no, was in the no, it's been renovated because it's yeah. not like in the movie. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you now still live in the house of your father, or you moved? No, we moved. In the, in the house that In the country moved. house, yeah, in the country village near Maranello. We tell uh, them because, the story? Yeah. We tell them the story? Tell the story was a big, uh, in COVID time <laughs> that we decided to... Yeah. yeah, and again the destiny was playing with us, because we were intending to move in Maranello, to buy a house in Maranello, to be closer for, to the factory. Uh, but the best, uh, the nicest house we saw was in Castelvetro, and in Castelvetro he's born, so born. But simply yeah. by coincidence, but when yeah. we saw the, the house we said, okay, this is... Uh, yeah. And you live there now in Castelvetro? Yeah. 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 Wow, it's very nice. And in the movie, yes. he's living in Castelvetro too with yeah. his mother, so it's really special. For me, it's not a, a movie about car, it's a movie no. about... Yeah. You and about your family yeah. and about uh, a yeah. tragedy and about yeah. um, a life changing. It's a life story, exactly. but it's impress uh, an impressive life story. Yeah. yeah. It's a great movie. And my, my comment about the, at the end of the movie is that at the end, who was the, the winner was my father. Because he, even with so many tragedy, 
he succeeded what he wants. It was, was his passion. The racing, the cars, to make something new every, every year. So you are involved in the movie to, to, to help the director? To, to help, yeah. It? On the screenplay, yes, I was helping him to make a, a screenplay that was real, but and not uh, with uh, in mistakes about uh, where happened, in when, when happened, uh, historically, I mean. Yeah. So this I, w I, gave, I gave him the help, but about the, the, how the um, actor speaking, the words, no. It's you helped a bit. They, well, they came many times in our house, like Adam Driver <coughs> came six times already. In yeah. your house before the movie? Yeah, yeah, to meet Piero and to find out details about Enzo because Ferrari. Because Adam Driver, yes, it's Enzo Ferrari. Exactly. He's Enzo Ferrari, yeah. Uh, how was keeping the glasses? How was keeping the bag? The how details. was walking? How yeah. was, uh, and you helped uh, Adam yes, Driver yeah. to, to explain him yes, how was Yes, because he was very professional, Adam. He was taking notes when that. Uh, yes. <coughs> yeah. And then we had Penelope Cruz in the house. Then we had Shailene yeah. with Patrick Damsley. All of, all of them, they came to us wow. to ask for yeah. themselves. <laughs> I think it was impressive to, to work with them also. Do you have social media accounts? No. No. You don't have time or do you, you don't like social media? I never, I never had, but I think I don't have time. <laughs> I know that Romina, yes. Romina, Romina is, is taking care of social media. <laughs> yes. I'm checking yeah. everything there, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> And what do you like the most um, in nowadays, but what do you dislike also in the world is now, in how the things are going right now? Because, you know, we have AI, we have technologies, we have another generation, everything is on fast forward. We don't have time for anything, it seems, to be like this. And I don't know how it is for you, and I, I, I don't mm. know if you like how the things are going or the direction. I... I Personally, I, I like <laughs> even uh, artificial intelligence is something that we don't have to be afraid. You're it's, a fan uh, of AI. In, I'm, I'm not afraid because it um, can be something for the future. I, I'm always saying that my father died before internet. He, I w I'm sure that he, if he, he could see and use internet, emails and this, this technology, he was excited, was very happy. So even my thinking is don't think that technology can make problems, can help you. But uh, everything is coming every year. Some, some will remain and some not, like, uh, like the good. <laughs> Like it's like, like, it's like. Yeah, the good people or uh, the good movies will remain, the, the bad will be forget. I have also a forget. couple of questions about competitions. <coughs> Ferrari won Le Mans in, uh, last year after 50 years of absence. Why did you decide to go back to Le Mans? This was a, a program because uh, we did a lot of activity for endurance racing for the clients and uh, for GT. But to win uh, the, absolute, the classification of Le Mans, you need the, this car, which is the hypercar, and they changed the rules. So it was an opportunity the, to make a new car with the new rules. And our engineer, they did a good job, and we've been um, even lucky, we can say, but we, we did it. It was a 100-year anniversary, so uh, a great success uh, for Ferrari last year. Anyway, this, <laughs> this proves excited. clients excited, we are selling more racing cars, so everything is uh, in the line of uh, Ferrari history and Ferrari. Because they and have what a, expecting from Ferrari the clients? a special program, <coughs> it's called Challenge, Ferrari Challenge, where Ferrari the Challenge. clients, they are buying their cars and they uh, update them uh, yeah. uh, to race, so it's a race between race. clients, mm. and they enjoy it very much. This program. Yeah. 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 There are important programs for uh, for the clients because uh, you know, Formula One you watch, there you drive, so <laughs> the clients yeah, yeah. are happy to do it. And okay. one question, and not a comfortable okay. one, but uh, I think that I can anticipate the answer. Ferrari have not won a championship in Formula One <coughs> since 2007. There have been some bad years for the Scuderia. 
Fans <coughs> joke after championship that next year will be Ferrari's years. When do you think that moment will come? It's impossible to say precisely. I cannot give you a, an answer, but the, the problem is that uh, now, last two years ago, 2022, we had new rules. So uh, 22 was so so, no, not so bad, and 23 was not good because the, the car was not starting well. This year we see, and, but we is a problem that in the last 10 years we didn't have stability in the organization. We had rule change from one side and, not and change of organization in our team. That from outside you don't, you don't see, but we had problem. So now we are trying to put together, but unfortunately it's time because even if you have the best engineer that is doing for another team, and you want him, needs one year to, to have him. Mm, you cannot resign and come. Yeah. It, there are so many rules that it is difficult to recover fast. But anyway, we are, I think, on the right direction, but I cannot promise to you <laughs> when <laughs> will happen a world championship again. I don't know. We are good drivers, we are good engineers, other good are coming. We we'll see. We have to, we are trying to put together the best the best uh, people we have. And the last question. In fact, it's <coughs> a, a message for uh, Ferrari's fans from Romania. <coughs> what can you say to them? Follow Ferrari, please. Ferrari will always give you some emotion. Forza Ferrari. Always. And Forza Ferrari. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much, Romina and Piero. Thank you so much for being here at DJ24. It's such an honor for us. Thank you to you. Thank you.